Why? Okay. Um, sorry, I can't, unless you tell me I can't tell, there's just lights up here. So welcome to our Monday night chat. My name is Lisa Robertson and this is, of course, my Facebook page. And every Monday night we like to give you a look at a lot of the things coming up within the week. So this is a preview. It's not of course, every single detail of every single item, because that would take a lot longer than an hour, but it is gonna be a preview of a lot of what's coming up this week. And the way it works is every day at noon Eastern time, we have new shopping for you, and that's gonna be right at the top of the shopping page at leaserobertson.com. You just go to the home page, click the shop button, takes you right there. We also do a post on Facebook whenever there's a boutique, so you can use the link there um, or just go yourself. And we send an email out whenever there's new shopping. So the email list is really, really good um, to subscribe to because then whenever there's new shopping, you're gonna get an email. So that's noon Eastern time every day. And then every evening at 8 p.m. Eastern time, you get an email and that will say either Here's what you can shop for in our evening boutique because we do have new shopping from Monday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, or, and by the way, at the end of that, here's a preview of what's coming up tomorrow or just here's a preview of what's coming up tomorrow. So the email reminds you um, that you can shop and reminds you what you can shop for immediately. And it also reminds you to look at what's coming up the next day so that you always know before something is coming if it's something you really want. That's important because in a lot of cases, some things go very, very quickly and people get frustrated because they're going, wait a minute, it just started a half hour ago. How's it already gone? Um, so the email reminds you and the email lets you know what's coming up the next day so you can set your alarm if it's something you want to make sure um, that you don't miss on that way. <laughs> Katie, is everything okay? The garland went out because it's on the timer. Oh, the timer function. Thank you. Yeah, we do have um, garlands coming up and I did not set them off the timer. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, I was like, there's, there's somebody under the tree. Uh, we have Surprise. two great Christmas boutiques coming up this week, and we also have some beautiful, beautiful fall. So there's a lot of things coming up. We have gorgeous jewelry, we have beautiful apparel, we have all kinds of gorgeous things coming up for you. Um, so definitely, definitely stay tuned for those. We are gonna take a look at the fall boutique coming up first of all. I know at noon we started with some great fashion um, and, and jewelry. Uh, but tonight we're gonna have a pumpkin patch. So the pumpkin patch is actually gonna be all kinds of beautiful pumpkins, perfect for fall. They are absolutely fabulous and there's so many different ones that it's really going to be Sorry. a great way to go. I know that takes a little while, doesn't it? Yeah. When it goes off on the timer, it takes a while to get it to come back on a few minutes, so. Um, so this is the pumpkin patch. So what happened was, um, we're kind of in a small space over here because we're, yeah. we're crowded over here where no, no, nothing normally is. But it's a good thing we moved that couch this weekend, huh? That's where the couch was. Um, and so we actually had a place to set up the <laughs> pumpkin patch. But what happened was we had so many beautiful pumpkins. And one of the things that I realized in looking at these pumpkins is that I think in a lot of cases we think, oh, I have a pumpkin. I'm good for Halloween. I'm good for fall. And what you realize is, no, the more the merrier. The more pumpkins you have, the better they look. And the more that you're mix and matching the sizes and the colors and the textures and the looks, the better it is. So I love seeing all these pumpkins together because we have so many really, really good ones. Now, first of all, here's the big jack-o'-lanterns. These are gonna be a set of two in the orange or the white. And these have uh, a flameless candle in them that flickers, so how gorgeous is that? And you see there's one, and here's the other one. You choose your style. Oh, okay, so, there, so you choose your style and they are your choice of in the white or the orange, there you go. Um, so we didn't really have a, enough room to maybe put all of them within the camera, but the white one's over on the front corner. So two different styles in the orange or the white. And I love these because they're big and they're really, really fun. And they have the black glitter on the stem. But if you're looking back here and you see this little guy, this little guy, and this little guy, that's a set of three. And those are gonna be the smaller version and those are only in the orange. But look how fun they are. Mm -hmm. And they each have a little flameless candle in them and they're absolutely adorable and we love them. Then, speaking of Halloween, we have these white pumpkins and they have a great texture to them. And then in raised lettering, this one says boo, this one is taller, and then there's one up there that says spooky. 
really cool because they're actually, it's actually part of the pumpkin. The lettering comes out and it's raised and it's beautiful. So the two white pumpkins, spooky and boo, really, really fun. So that's kind of more of your Halloween feel in that area right there. But then I love the fact that we have some things that are really, really cool and different. Like this is one that has a really cool texture. I love it. It's almost a, we call it an, uh, like a distressed antique gold, but it's almost a champagne. It really kind of has that metallic tone that will go with everything. I love the texture. I love the detail. I love the size. That is just a superstar pumpkin. I know that sounds a little silly, but trust me, that is a showstopper signature piece superstar pumpkin i love it for halloween i love it for fall i love it for both um right here we have these three beautiful kind of champagnes tans browns grays in these beautiful pumpkins all three of these are going to be done in glass aren't they gorgeous so i love adding these beautiful warm tones with these pumpkins each one is a little different shape each one is a little different size and they're a beautiful beautiful set of three on those, aren't they cool? I love those. Um, then we have, gosh, where do you go from there? Um, these beautiful gray pumpkins. Now these are a gray glass. I'm gonna put my hand behind because I want you to see that they're more translucent. You know, it's kind of dark in here so they might look like they're more of uh, opaque, but they're a beautiful translucent gray. Look at how gorgeous the stem is in the glass. Isn't that stunning? And there's gonna be all three of those in a set that are just absolutely beautiful and very different. I love the pumpkins that are really different and really beautiful and have that sophisticated air, which I think those definitely do. I also think these white ceramic do. This is a set of three and it has these beautiful ornate stem and leaves and vines. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gonna be a set of three. We were calling them white, but I have to say they're an off-white, so they're really beautiful ivory. Um, very elegant, very, very pretty perfect for all through fall and then we have that same style in the gray and i think those are really really beautiful too very elegant very sophisticated really really cool loving those in the gray with the same beautiful ornate stems just showing you how it looks with some of the beautiful fall foliage love that down on the floor i'm not even sure if you can see that one's one of the, the large white jack-o-lanterns and then we have of course this black and white set of three that is made to stack just like that so this is going to be the pumpkin patch coming up at 8 p.m at the end of our chat and i have to say that it really is one of those things that makes you realize pumpkins are like flowers the more the merrier more is better you know mix them match them make arrangements um, you know, it just, it really changes the feel of the room. It's one of those things that adds so much and you can use them so many different places. I think in some cases it's kind of a challenge. You're going, hmm, I'd like to do something for fall, but what am I going to do? I'd like to do something for Halloween, but what am I going to do? These are going to give you that beautiful variety from very sophisticated to really fun and everywhere in between. And I absolutely, absolutely love them. So those uh, are coming up at 8 PM tonight. Hold on just a moment. Um, at noon today, we started out with a beautiful, give me that sweater, David, the blue and the white right behind you. Thank you. Um, we started out with this beautiful, beautiful sweater. Now, I love this sweater. I love the color blue. I love the pattern. I love that it's just a really wonderful, soft, cozy sweater with the pockets. How gorgeous is this? This is one of those sweaters that you are gonna love and wear all the time. I have to say, I was doing um, a different project the other day and um, needed a number of changes of clothing. So this is one of the sweaters that I took down and they loved it on camera because the color was beautiful and the pattern's beautiful and it doesn't moire on camera, so that's always nice. Uh, but love this look. So these are beautiful, soft, gorgeous. And you know what, it was cold here today. Did you guys go outside, it was really windy? It's like in the 50s, all of a sudden it just turned cold. You're like, what happened? Like yesterday was summer. Um, so I love now bringing these sweaters in. This is the perfect way to be really warm and cozy and comfortable. I love that sweater. Let me hang that back up, thank you, David. And then we will go on to some beautiful jewelry. There you go, a little bit closer. Um, David Marstein, of course, 
is joining us. David has been in the jewelry. David has been in the jewelry industry for um, a number of decades, actually, and uh, it's have. really yeah, both have. And you know, he he really does. He is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to jewelry, and also a great resource because he knows so many people in the business and so many factories, and it really brings us beautiful pieces from all over Thank the you. world. So, starting at noon today, we started out with yeah. this beautiful necklace, and this is one that is near and dear to our hearts because of where it's made. Absolutely. Um, it's Italian, of course, and we originally introduced this in our hour of Vicenza, Vicenza style. I call it made in Italy, whatever you want to call it. Right. And it was so popular yes. that, call it negotiating, I don't know, I tried to get an advance order on this and I was able to get one. Um, and I think it's beautiful because obviously the safety pin has become almost a little bit of a status symbol when you say oh, this. Oh yeah, huh? no, absolutely. And, but the way this is made is so interesting in that each safety pin is connected to another safety pin, but there are two stones at the top of each of the safety pins. Yeah, the detail is insane. So it's in such attention detail and it's on both sides, so if it flips you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is solid, so it's got some nice weight to it as well. So when you're looking at this, it just is really, really beautiful. Each and every one is going to have that beautiful detail. They're very finely made. Um, they do have an extender on them. We yep. have it in rose, white, and yellow. But I've never seen a safety pin necklace that is this detailed. Absolutely, I think you know. Really pretty. If you find safe the safety pin jewelry trend out there, there's nothing quite like this. I think that this is the right scale. Mm -hmm. You know, the safety pins are not. Right, large. not too big. There, so it's a nice scale. It looks like something you might find in 18 karat gold at an exorbitant price because it is right. solid. Got some nice weight, nice weight to it, but um, I do think it has all the elements of what the Italians do so well, which is, yeah. that, is that just design innovation. And this is how they've taken it to the next level. So I love that necklace, and it's one that you've loved too. This is an advance order, um, and it is one that started actually at noon today. Rose, yeah. white, or yellow are your options on that one, and it's beautifully, beautifully done. So this necklace, already very popular, very popular. I have to say. Um, and of course, as with all of our advance orders, one of the things that the factory always does is they tell us how many they can do. Yes. You know, we have a very tight timeline for them to work on. They know how many they can do in that timeline. They promise it to us in a very short period of time, so they have to stop what else they're doing, put this in front of the production. You know, they know how much they have in the raw materials, how much labor they have that, you know, can work in certain days. And yep. so they're very specific as far as how many they can do for us. And I think sometimes we forget that because we just think, oh, it's an advance order. We can just yeah. order as many as we want. No. Yeah, it doesn't really work that this way. This time of year, they're so busy oh with the gosh. holiday season, so they really are making not exceptions. I think they do us favors because they trust us. And yeah. so I think this is what's happening here and why you can why we can do stuff like this. They'll put us in front of the line even though they're making orders for other clients. Yes. So don't forget that in Italy they take all the month of August off. And in a lot of cases that goes into the first week of September. So what happens in Italy is they come back from not having worked for a month. Yep. And so they're already behind. And they're now producing up against it for the Christmas season. So it's a really, really tough time for them to yeah. do advance orders. And don't and think we're I not saying them. we want their life, okay? Because we are. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do love the fact when they'll do advance orders for us right now when they are so busy yeah. with everything else. All right, speaking of Italy. Okay. This bracelet is amazing. So this is a bracelet that we actually um, introduced a number of years ago. It was yep. very early in our company. This is one that the Italians created for us um, by our request. Uh, back when it was just me and Katie going to the Vicenza yeah. shows and uh, and working with the factories before David came on board. And one that has continued to be very, very popular. And what's ironic is that over the years yeah. in between, the style has become even more popular. I think we often will go back or a lot of women will go back in their jewelry, personal wardrobe, mm -hmm. and they'll say, look at this, remember when this was popular? Yeah. But it's not popular now. So this item, I think, is as relevant today as it was when you first introduced it. And I think that's important because not all the trends um, you know, evolved the same way, but this, right. this has all about the layering, it's about the color, oh, yeah. it's about mixing and matching, not just with these individual bracelets, with other bracelets that you may have, and I love the fact that this is a stretch bracelet, but we still are offering some small average large. Oh, so excellent. it is small yeah. average large. And all these colors, but, I don't know. You know, the options are insane. So number one, small average or large in your choice of the skull or the cross. Yep. And whatever you choose, 
is going to be your choice of rose white or yellow. So that's even before we get to the stones. Absolutely. Just to let you know. So you have three sizes, you have two designs, you have three colors in those three sizes and two designs, <laughs> and then you have one, two, three, four, five, seven colors to choose from in each of those combinations. So this is a beautiful berry. This is a soft peach, soft pink, um, soft uh, lavender, soft green, soft blue, ocean blue, gorgeous. These are all beautiful yep. quartz. These are genuine stones. These are not man-made and they are stunning. And I think they're so clean. I, 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 I look at this and you know, you, you could have beads that have all inclusions in them and black spots and they really don't. No, these are very these clean. These are very clean. And what store are you gonna go into? And they're gonna say, hey, let me introduce this. We have this in right. the back here. We have all well, these choices for you. So there's seven of one. I know, the so math so that's 14 times I think three, it's 96 choices. Which is There's going 72 to, choices, I think it was. Yeah, and then the three sizes. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's insane. You're just going, oh my gosh, what are you, crazy? Right. Um, but that's what we can do for you, working with the factories that yep. know us in yep. Italy and trust us um, as an advance order. I think this is a great gift idea, and we are yes. already talking about gift time because yes. we're talking about advance order, so it's a good time to think ahead and go, that'd be a great gift for fill in the blank. Yeah. yeah. Because I love fashion and affordability, and this is what this has. It has the fashion. You're not breaking the bank, and it's a fun gift to give somebody. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. So these are made in Italy. Um, the safety pin necklace is made in Italy. Yeah. We love both of those things. And this goes away when? After the chat tonight. Mm -hmm. So that, that's really important. Very important. Do you want to give you some space here and remove sure. this? So I can okay. just come right back in a second. Speaking of things that go away after the chat, this. Oh Okay, oddly, the middle finger on my left hand is slightly smaller than the middle finger on my right hand. I'm not really sure why. This emerald ring is insane. This is a dyed emerald. It is an emerald. It's a dyed emerald so that you get a much larger stone and it has very deep color. It is beautifully surrounded by white zircon. It yep. is- Actually, white sapphire. White sapphire, thank yeah. you. Um, I, was, I was looking like, I that doesn't sound that. right, doesn't sound right. Um, and then it's set in sterling silver. Yep. It's beautiful. This is one that we offered once and holy Toledo. Um, I mean, when we offered this, you know, we, we negotiated an amazing price. Yes. Because we wanted a one-time special price on this. We've never tried this before. And we knew that it was something special, but we never expected it to explode like this. And I think what's so exciting about it, this is over 11 carats of emerald. Now granted, it is dyed, but the color is absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah. And when you combine that with the white sapphire, I think it's just a ring that you are agreeing with us that you find very exquisite and beautiful. Wow. So I love the size, I love the color, I love the contrast, I love the fact that it's wearable. I mean, really, really, it's really bold, yeah. but yet it's really wearable because it is so simple yeah. and so sophisticated. It is stunning. And before we could even offer this, they had to check on the rough because this yes. is not something you're like, oh, let me go in the, in the factory and get yeah. this. This is something that you have to make sure you have enough of. And they said we have, we're limited, but we have enough we think we can give you yes. um, to do this. Perfect. Um, so I love this. This also goes away at the end of the chat. So if you want this ring, please grab it. And you know what amazes me is the price on the ring and the fact that yeah. David negotiated a very, very sharp price the first time we offer it, offered it thinking that we wouldn't offer it again. Yeah. And then you guys were so crazy about it that we had to go back and really, really ask them to do it as an advance order and to hold the price. So I was amazed when the answer was yes. And sometimes they can't that. really hold that yeah. price, but I felt, come on, I'm like, you know, let's, let's not be unfair to the people who didn't get the first time. Let's right. see. And they agreed because we have a great relationship with them. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to leave that on. And this also, please, goes away at the end of the chat. Yes. And I, I like to say that because I always get the next day, some people say, I didn't get oh, a chance I to get it. it. And, I forgot. And what I want to explain really quickly is that when they start a run, meaning starting the production of this, it is really difficult to say, oh, I have one more for you. So they often will say no to us. It's not that I don't want to after the fact, but you know, I'm telling you this so that if you are interested, please don't wait because yeah. I don't want you to be disappointed when I can't get it especially before the holidays. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so love that ring. I'm just gonna leave it on my left hand for a while. Um, then this beautiful necklace. So this is a necklace from a newer factory that we haven't really worked with much before. Um, 
although it's a factory that we both um, have loved for a long time a long because time. they are really, really known for their quality and their detail and their labor and their craftsmanship. And they are, they're offered in very, very high-end stores. Very high end. And yeah. in order to be offered in very high-end stores, the high-end stores, and I would put us in that category, they wanna, they wanna offer a product that not only has design differentiation, but also the high quality of setting, all done by hand and being relevant. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they've done here in that they're taking that scattered stone look, which mm -hmm. is now in the front and graduated, but they don't just do the front, they do the sides and there are these bars on the side all set with those pave stones that really helps it hang correctly because each of those bars can lay flat on the neckline when, mm -hmm. when you wear it. So I think that's really important. But I mean, I have to tell you though, this is like something that is just a one of one, you know, if we had the show um, once in a lifetime, this is a once in a right. lifetime type piece because it really is drop dead gorgeous. I love that. So, and I love the fact that there's different shapes, different sizes, you know, it's very, very elegant. Yeah. It's really done just as if it were diamonds. Exactly. Yeah. The quality is beautiful and you put it on and oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I love the fact that it's a very different look as far as a diamond look, but it's a very wearable look, yes. you know? So in a lot of cases, if you were going to look at a diamond necklace, you would think of, you know, something in uh, a tennis necklace yeah. style. And that's great, but this I think is so much more interesting and fresh and beautiful, but yet so, so, so wearable. So I love the style. It's brand new. It's coming up and it's by uh, a factory that we love. Family owned, Family -owned. very, very high end, beautiful, Very beautiful high end work. quality. And then we have these gorgeous earrings. So I love these earrings and I'm just trying to put the, the gray behind it so you can really see. We have your choice of two different, here it is in the white, mm -hmm. and then here it is in the yellow. So in the yellow, they're done more in black rhodium. Yep. And it looks like, in the white they are as well, but they just seem to show up a little bit yeah. darker in the yellow. Yeah. yeah. I think what's so, great about this is there's a little drama to this in the geometric shape of it but again it's that micro pave setting that is so beautiful to look at and so wonderful so when you wear it there's so much so much movement because it just drops and every, the light loves this earring it hits it from all angles and you know it's it's big and dramatic but still very wearable i mean this you will get noticed when you wear these mm -hmm. but they're fun and yet they're very elegant and um, they're so what, what's happening right now, again, in the world of jewelry with those geometric shapes, that's that special pave setting on it. And I think these are just really drop dead gorgeous. And again, from the same factory. I think that something about them is perfect for fall. And I, I'm not sure exactly why, but they just, to me, I just, I think of this with a sweater. I yeah. think, I don't know why, I just think of this as being perfect for fall, but I do. I love the fact that the stones are in that black rhodium because it really, yeah. really makes them pop and it makes them look so much more like diamonds. I'm so glad you put this on because as I look at it on your ear, it really it pops, doesn't really, it? Really, yeah. It's like there's like um, electricity coming out of it or something like that. Yeah. Like, where's, I'm looking for like where you plugged it in. I know. But it, it's just beautiful. And that's what happens when you work with very high end designers, very high end factories. They can create this illusion, this look, that this beautiful look. They're it's so comfortable. The earrings. Aren't they fabulous? And they're so comfortable, by the way, because I like yeah. big earrings, but I have sensitive ears. Um, I love the fact that this goes into my ear very, very comfortably. Yeah. I love the fact that it sits very comfortably. I love the fact that they love it, that you guys love it as much as we do, because yeah. it's fabulous. Thank you, Kiai. Um, so, uh, and by the way, Kiai is on Facebook tonight. Um, Katie's doing camera tonight. Ashley is getting everything we need over here, um, and Ailey's here, and Sam's here. We got a full house, people. We do. I'm telling you. Good, good energy. If it takes a village, we got a village um, on that one. So I, one of the things that I do love is that as we're going through, we have, you know, we're here on Facebook to answer your questions and, yeah. and also to chime in and let us know when there's things you especially love, um, and, and, and us to kind of explain things firsthand as well. So I, I love that we have both of those yes. on Monday nights. Now, I have to say, I'm just going to put this right in front of here. I love this ring. I love oh, this ring I? so much. I'm keeping one. Um, Lisa, why did you start this company? Well, besides the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. I wanted to keep the jewelry. Um, I just, oh my gosh, I'm crazy about this ring. It's a top quality Zambian emerald that's a carat and a half. And it's the centerpiece of this beautiful, and these are diamonds. These are actual diamonds. 
And then what you have is um, the black, um, it's not, not, not onyx. Spinel. Black spinel. Which is really unusual to have it yes. carved like this. Well, I talked to them about it and they said, you know, I've only seen black spinel beads in the past. And they said, mm -hmm. nope. Black spinel is really good for carving because it, it, it is very it's clean. So, and, and it's also very, it's a very deep black. I know that sounds weird, but I love the fact that it's a deep black. And I yeah. swear it looks different than onyx. Yeah, Somehow it does. the shine on it. It does. And the side profile is so beautiful. Look how even, so what I say about this ring is there is so much attention to detail in the way the stones are set, the design where they're set. In. And to me, this has a vintage look to it. I very like estate. Very, very estate, estate looking. Yes. It's like something you would find in the 1940s or something that someone handed down from for generations. It reminds me of um, the, you know, very famous couture house that yes. sounds like a former peanut farmer. Yes, it does. Ed and I, uh, president who was a peanut yeah. farmer. Um, but that's, you know, of, of the beautiful pieces they've been known for, their brooches, um, their, their cigarette cases back in the early 20th century that were gold and diamonds yeah. and gemstones and as well as their amazing jewelry that obviously they're still very, very well known yeah. for that among other things. But it reminds me of that look. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. I love that. And ring. I love the elongation too. I think elongated rings are great because they accentuate your fingers and just it's a very bold but very wearable ring. Gorgeous. All right, I love that I'm ring. I'm gonna get out of here because. And yeah, and I'm, I'm running late, so sorry. Thank you, David. I'm gonna okay. let you take this yep. and uh, we're gonna talk about this tree. So I have to say, I love this tree so much. This is to me a rich beautiful, classic, traditional, um, you know, kind of Christmas, very much like a Christmas carol. It is absolutely Dickens all the way to me when I look at it. Very, very elegant, very rich. And when you're looking at it, of course, what draws your eye, first of all, is the ribbon. And we have two ribbons on this that are absolutely stunning. And what I did was put the holly ribbon on the outside and then framed that green velvet Sorry, on the inside. Sorry, I'm to focus. That's all right. I'm like having that camera's problems, giving you issues like tonight, isn't it? Real problems. Yeah. So, and I have to say, Katie does camera a lot and the camera's just like going a little hinky. This is my worst camera performance in like five years. <laughs> Sorry, you all have to witness it. You should have not said it was you because if you said it was Kiai, I don't know what you're saying. No, that's, right. why, that's why when she said it, I was like, darn it. Shoot! <laughs> I was going to tell me it was Kiai. No, I don't so this is a beautiful, these are all fabric ribbons. They're wired ribbons. This is a beautiful, beautiful woven fabric with the red embroidered edge on either side. The, the back of this is red. Just to let you know if you want to twist it, the back is red. This is embroidery in the holly leaves and holly berries going all the way down. Is that gorgeous or is that gorgeous? That is just like, oh my gosh, so Charles Dickens. Then this beautiful, rich green velvet. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Again, wired. But here's another thing I want you to see on this tree. Don't think that one ribbon does it. If you love ribbon, put them together. Use two or three. Have at it. We've literally had a waterfall of, I think our, the record was five of them going down the tree at once and they were stunning. So don't think that, oh, I have a ribbon, I don't need more. Start thinking about combinations, start thinking about putting them together, start thinking about different ways to use them because there's nothing more beautiful than this high end ribbon. And I have to say, no one does ribbon like we do, and I don't mean to be arrogant. I'm just saying in all honesty, really, no one does ribbon like we do. I, it's just, it is true. Um, I would like to sit here and be humble and downplay it. That would be stupid because nobody does ribbon like we do, honestly. Um, I'm excited about a ribbon and I've seen a million ribbons, <laughs> so, but look at what a difference they make. Then we have this beautiful ornament. So this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous ornament. It's a glass ornament. It has bells and pearls and raised detail. Isn't that stunning? A large white glass ornament. I love the glitter. I love the holly. I love the ribbon. I love the leaves. I love the pearls. I mean, everything about this. Love that ornament. That is going to, I'm trying to remember how many of those were in a set. Sam and I went over that. I think it's two. Okay, um, that makes sense. So I love that because it's very high end, very, very detailed. This is one of our European glass ornaments and this is going to be a set of six, obviously. Um, you're gonna have three that are high polished red on top and a matte finish ivory underneath. And then you're gonna have three that are the opposite and that's going to be uh, a matte ivory on top and a matte red underneath. So it's beautiful both ways, um, but just to let you know that you do have six and that's gonna be a total of three each. Um, gosh, Katie, just pick one and we'll go to it. Cause there's, oh, here's the pie right yeah, up here. That, so 
This is um, a pie. It kind of looks more like a cake from the side, to be honest with you, but I don't care. It's very cool. So it's a pie on a plate. I just think that's so festive. Doesn't that just look like Christmas? It just, oh, I love that. Um, those are individual. And then right below that and above that is going to be uh, kind of a beautiful, these are large. I can find another one of that. Uh, I can find one. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Mm. Here's one. Yeah, that one. I want that one. So this is a beautiful, beautiful ornament, and I believe this is a set of four, if I recall correctly. Double check me. That sounds right. Uh, but it's going to be the holly berries, and then it's going to be these small. Aren't those gorgeous? I just love those. They're we were really saying nice. that to me that looks like what you would see at Longwood Gardens yes. Christmas, which we were wondering what that's going to be like this year because they're doing so much building, so much construction. What they're going to have for Christmas, okay, so I'm sure it's going to be right amazing. The finial, there you go. Um, this is a beautiful red glass finial. These are large. You're going to have two different shapes. One is going to be larger at the bottom. The other one is more of a circle at the top, but those are big and bold. This is how you doing. I mean, just <laughs> wow. This is glass, and this is a very large, gorgeous present with the big red bow, and it has the white paper with the holly berries and holly leaves, and I love that more than life itself. Then we have the sweetest little rocking horses, and those are going to come in... Red and green. Red and green. Is it four or six on Three there? Three of each. Color. Three of each. Six total. Uh, little rocking horses, and I think they just make the tree. They just, something about them, they just make the tree. Um, oh, and then... This, this is going to be a set of three beautiful ornaments. It has this kind of pearly, fawn, blush, taupe, tan background. And then you have this beautiful, sparkly poinsettia with the little leaves um, and holly berries. This is going to be a set of three. You have, of course, the finial, you have the onion, and you have the round. So you're going to have that whole set. And that's a very traditional way for us to do really high-end ornaments is the set of three like that. You have, of course, also these beautiful poinsettias. Now, every time you look at this bunch of poinsettias, this is one branch, and each branch is going to have um, three different flowers on it, but then this is red pepper berries, so you can see all the leaves that go with the red pepper berries, and I just put that stem in with the poinsettias. Those are two separate things that I love, and then these beautiful sparkly red butterflies on clips so that's three different things that you're looking at right there that are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Did I miss anything on that tree? I think, um, I think that was it. And then underneath the tree, what you're going to see is this beautiful Father Christmas. Isn't he gorgeous? In the green. He's very European. This is a very European style of Father Christmas. I love him. And then holding his little wreath we have this beautiful big sleigh. Now, one of the things I wanna warn you about is that every time we do these grand sleighs, they do not last. Let me reiterate again, why do you wanna get the email? Why do I care if I get the email? Here's why. Because the night before this sleigh goes up, you're gonna look at that email, and you're gonna look at the link, and you're gonna to go to the preview blog, and you're gonna go, oh, that sleigh is coming up tomorrow. I'm going to set my alarm because I know it's not going to last very long and I really want that ivory and gold big gorgeous sleigh. So just to, that's why we love the uh, preview blog. And this is a big, beautiful, grand, amazing sleigh. Here you say we just put some of the poinsettias and the beautiful butterfly in there. Do you like this multicolor pre-lit garland? This is um, the multicolor pre-lit garland. This is our original uh, Stars in the Sky garland in this beautiful, beautiful multicolor. And you can see this is the gem tones. So this is gonna be the emerald, ruby, sapphire, and then clear. All beautiful, beautiful colors, all pre-lit, all strung, already ready to go. Um, has the pine cones. We're gonna have this in the green and we're gonna have it in the flocked. I'm just trying to see if I missed anything else right there. No, I didn't, okay. And then we're gonna have it in the flocked. And the flocked is going to be right up here in the multicolor, and you'll see it underneath the other tree as well. And the multicolor is going to ship immediately. Yeah, the multicolor is going to ship immediately. That's what you're looking at here. It's really, really beautiful. By the way, do you notice these large chandelier crystals hanging from that beautiful 
beautiful garland. Those are coming up in our other Christmas, so make sure and stay tuned for those. Now, one of the things I'll tell you is that for some reason in pictures and videos, as well as yeah. live, the blue fluoresces on yeah. these. But in person, it doesn't. In person, it's a really even distribution of blue, red, green, and mm -hmm. clear. So don't think, oh my gosh, it's blue. It, it's not in person. It's just in pictures and videos, it does that. I don't know why, it's a weird thing. So go figure. Um, but there's the flock and it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm just gonna crawl back over here because I'm already on the floor. And since we're looking at wintry things, I'm going to show you the cutest jacket. Can you have, thanks Ash. Um, okay, so. Adorbs. Now, everybody needs a really cute winter jacket. Don't fight it, it's bigger than all of us. Um, and that just makes the colder weather really, really fun. So I love this color. I love the faux fur on the white collar. I love the fact that it has the knit around the sleeves. It has another little pocket here with the zip and a little just tiny pocket there. You know, just really, really cute. But here's the kind of the cool thing. So normally, everything here is like this and then it kind of gathers around your hips but this actually has a split on the side. So that means if I want to put my hands in my jeans pocket, look how much cooler I look already. Like, wow, it's like James Dean is a middle-aged woman. Uh, but you just put your hands in your pockets and everything's good. So I love that. Now this does also have pockets and the pocket snap shut so that you can use them if you want. And if you're not using them, you could snap them and they just stay nice and closed, ready to go. But isn't that the sweetest? And then inside, oh, Oh, that's so nice. So soft. I love that. This is the cutest jacket. Love. So I love this jacket. It's coming up. Um, and I think it's fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's just do this. Helen thinks that's a very cute jacket. So does thank, Terry. Thank you, thank you. I agree. And then, who loves... Uh, who loves really nice, soft, cozy sweaters? This is so soft. It just makes you want to go like this when you're wearing it. Like, I'm just going to give myself a hug. So we're calling this the Dragon Wing um, cardigan. It really does kind of, isn't that beautiful? I love, it's black and ivory. It's a really chic kind of combination. I love the fact that it has pockets, right? So you're ready to go. And you just throw this on over anything. Like, I'm wearing my basic black shirt. This is our basic black shirt, and I live in this. No comment, Katie. <laughs> it, no, it's not Katie. No, it's so true because it's such a great top. So in reality, I feel like we should post a link to this top yeah. that I'm wearing because it's the best top ever. Oh, and these jeans. We're all like loving these jeans. These are the high rise boyfriend destroy jeans. Um, just to let you know. But I okay, I love the cardigan coming out this week. Loving, loving. And then our um, great little basic top that I live in. <laughs> if you could have seen Ashley just like did a risky business move where she just like <laughs> slid in with their socks, um, just to the right place. So um, I love the cardigan, love the jacket. Here's the basic top that I do live in. Literally, I'm gonna commandeer more than one sample of this because I wear it so much. Um, and then they won't say, hey, don't you do laundry? I'll say, I have three, and it'll be fine. Um, all right, David, you're the next contestant on. The price is right. All right. That was looking kind of risky. A little bumpy. A little bumpy. All right. Um, okay, so. Wow. <laughs> Let me just start out with wow. Uh, one of the things that I love uh, wearing and I love collecting is crosses. It's something that I always have loved and always love to collect. And uh, not even, it's not even conscious. I just, for some reason, I always, always falling in love with the new cross. And this one is astounding. It's pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. When we saw a picture of this, I'm like, hmm, is that going to be really good or kind of over the top? And then we got the sample. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. So beautiful. These are rubies. Yes. Yeah. There are over 10 carats of ruby. Um, enhanced ruby, but it's it's beautiful. Um, I love the setting. That's over five carats, uh, four and a half carats of white zircon in there, oh all set God. against the black rhodium. So it has this Gorgeous. beautiful uh, look to it, almost a little bit more edgy with the mm -hmm. black rhodium. But yes. I think it's just just 
a gorgeous, gorgeous example of a cross um, and gemstones that are that are so designed uh, beautifully around around the cross. I don't be like I need a bigger jewelry box. Look at the board. Look Isn't at the, it beautiful? Look at, look at the border. How it oh kind gosh, of like has the crazy. almost the, the Florida Lee design amongst it. The, Very the, like a Knights Templar. Yes, yes. Thank yes. you. Um, I'm here to help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the creators of the banking system, as we know it. So uh, it, it it's just beautiful. Like I literally, I just look at that and I cannot get enough. It reminds me so. It's interesting because that someone who's very dear to me, her in-laws, her her late mother-in-law. Um, came from a, a very, very wealthy family. Yeah. And she inherited some of the beautiful pieces of jewelry that were yeah. her, her late mother-in-law. And one of them was a cross done in gold that I swear, like, like with gold and diamonds, oh my gosh, this is yeah. the cross. I mean, it's one of those things where women of every generation have loved this look. This is a look that you will have found not just for a few years, decades, centuries centuries this look is, is stunning and it's so beautifully done in rubies to wear that and have someone say oh my gosh that's beautiful be able to say thank you it's it's rubies i mean there you what you would never think that you could get 10 carats of ruby in any product any any piece of jewelry yeah and yet this cross has it even the top the top portion where yes. the veil goes in is so detailed with that center ruby and then the accents of that white zircon going around, it's, it's just amazing to me. So I'm, I'm rushing us only, yes. and it hurts me, but I love this bracelet so much. So this is a bracelet that, you know, it's interesting. You know how some things appeal to people with very different tastes? Yeah. So Katie and I both love this bracelet, like more than life yeah, itself. Yeah, this is my favorite. It is, it's Katie's favorite. And, and Katie is half why. my age. So when I'm telling you that I love it for my style, Katie loves it for her style. It's just that timeless, beautiful, just it transcends everything. It's gorgeous. In fact, Katie said she was going to get another one. Yeah, just I'm going to get a backup. A backup because she lives in her so much. She's afraid something might happen. So we have this for you in the yellow or the white. And this is Italy. And this reminds me of, there's a very high-end, uh, factory in Italy that we don't really deal with, but they're good friends, the people that we deal yes. with. And we would like to go to their booth and just sit down and look at the jewelry. Yes. Because we couldn't really afford it. It is, <laughs> it is exactly like that. I think what you said is, is so true. It's, it's very status driven. Yes. But it's not status that's going to go out of style. It's, it's, this is a bracelet for all ages that will stand the test of time. I love the fact that the one link is this cushion shape. Mm -hmm. It's not round, it's mm -hmm. this actual cushion shape, which kind of fits nicely into, for lack of a better word, it, let's call it an H design link. Right. I don't know. But it has that, that one link, all pave, micro pave, Gorgeous. beautifully made. Um, we did do this once before. Yes. Um, and, and when you, so here's how the, this came back. You said to me on a weekend, you're like, you texted me the picture of that bracelet. Like, hey, I'm going out tonight, I'm going to wear this bracelet. And I'm like, you're gonna wear it. Okay, I went and looked and like, oh my god, we gotta get this again because right. it reminded me of it. I forgot right. about it, and I really it's just reminding me that I wanted to do. Like, I think this it's is perfect. so beautiful. It's so beautiful, and I'm so excited that we can do it again. And I just want to show you very quickly. It has an oversized spring ring clasp, yeah. um, so it has, has that you know high end. But look at how gorgeous. Look at that layering piece. Wow. It is one of my favorite pieces too. Isn't that I, gorgeous? I just see this in a, a very high-end magazine. Oh, absolutely. And this would be that piece later in there. You're like wondering, you know, you look on the side, you say, who's making that bracelet? And it's not one of these high-end design houses. Yes. Like, oh, there it is. Beautiful. I love it. Beautiful. So. Yeah. This is, it's going to be like a, like a secret club, but it's not going to be secret because no. we're all going to have that bracelet because we all love it so much. <laughs> all right. Now, speaking of absolutely, absolutely stunning look at this ring. This is one of the most beautiful. I just love how beautiful and simple and dramatic that ring is. That's over that's 14 carats of sky blue topaz and diamonds and I love the shape. I love the cleanness of this and I love the saturation of color and as I'm looking at this and I'm comparing it to your dyed emerald next to you it just yeah. To me, there's so much variety going on tonight and some bold styles, but this is, this is, 
a wow group of products that we're showing you this week. And I'm uh, just, just really excited. Astounding. And this astounding. is one of them. This is a, an item that is just like, I mean, it's these are hard to find. This is not something where oh, you yeah. just go and say, um, can you make this 14 carats, 14 carats for me? It's like they have to find the rough and they have to make sure they can make the quality that we need. And yes. that's why I love this ring so much. So I love that ring. And speaking of very, very high-end styles and designs, just like obviously the Ruby ne necklace yeah. needs no explanation, um, but this bracelet looks like gold and diamonds. Um, you know, this ring is astounding. Yeah. This style, so I love this style in an oval earring and a round necklace. It's a very similar style. And what you have are these beautiful little stones scattered asymmetrically around like stars in yeah. the sky, like yeah. constellations. Yeah. And what's amazing is that they're also looking good from the back. Yeah. So if you have short hair, if you have your hair up or back in a ponytail, it's gonna look gorgeous both ways. We have these in rose, white, and yellow in the oval in the earring, and they're so comfortable and they're so beautiful. And then the round in the necklace, and I love that the chain actually goes around the circle. Yep. There's no bail, so it's super clean. It looks for the world like gold and diamonds. Yep. It is so right on. And I think when you wear these, you will get noticed, but it's not like you're trying too hard because right. these are just, they just, Again, those, there are those earrings and this pendant that will never go out of style. It's again, it's it's a novel idea, it's fresh, and everything that we want to show you that's happening in the world of jewelry today, mm -hmm. but it's not something that, oh, 10 years from now, you're gonna be like, oh, that doesn't look right anymore. It's, right. it's something that's not gonna go away. Speaking of absolutely gorgeous, and I know I'm, I'm rushing because we have um, we have another group of jewelry, right? Yeah, one yeah, more group. Okay. Um, and we have the whole another Christmas thing and a, a few more um, beautiful oh, quickly. pieces of, jewel, of, of accessories and, and fashion. So I love this earring. This is an organic earring uh, in its style. I love that it has the scattered pave uh, on both of the loops. I love that it's rose white or yellow. And again, to me, this is very high end, very Madison Avenue, very designer, very couture. This is what you would see when you go into yep. the really expensive pavilion at the Vicenza trade show where all the big design houses Absolutely. are. And this is a left and right design, meaning that the left side looks different than the right side because you want that. You don't want them both to be the same when you have an organic shape like this. Right, if they're um, asymmetrical, they need to be left yes, and right. They do, and this is what they spend extra money on to do this because every, every each one is a, t a different tool because mm -hmm. they're making a different model. So, beautiful. You're beautiful. That's what we have of this group. So okay. Maybe. I love all of this. Um, so many gorgeous pieces. All right. I'm going to let you take this away, okay. David. Um, I just want to make sure. Can you, Ashley, uh, just hand me the next thing. Let's just make sure we get through all the fashion. This is fabulous. I'm going to throw this on real quick. I love this cardigan. Um, this is just so simple and elegant. We had this in that soft pink yes. and it was gone very, very quickly. So this is just a beautiful soft like oatmeal. Isn't this the perfect color? This is just so like, oh my gosh, living it. So soft, so beautiful, so understated. I love how soft it is. I love that little bit of ivory tipping down and around the sleeves and on the pockets. This is going to be perfect for traveling, perfect for going anywhere, perfect for staying in, perfect for going to the office, perfect for your Zoom meetings, perfect for going to the grocery store, perfect for everything. Speaking of traveling, does everybody have what they need for Wednesday? Is everybody good? Do we have everything? We'll have to buy some things when we get there, but I think we're okay. Okay. <laughs> um, we're, we're going on a trip. So um, this, this cardigan I absolutely love. And then, oh, thank you. Look at that. Now this is a fabulous idea. This is a beautiful vest. And the vest is going to be faux fur on the inside and the front. These great little pockets. I love this extended collar that just goes out like this. And then the back is a sweater. Ooh, there you go. I take those off, the little things go in the hair. And that gorgeous back is a sweater. So super comfy, really fabulous. Love this. Put this over any long sleeve, any three quarter sleeve, whatever you want to do. And it's just such a really, really great look going into fall. So there it is in the ivory. And then here it is in the black. And there is no wrong answer um, on this one. And it's interesting because I don't do a lot of vests um, because of the fact that I just think in a lot of cases they're not as flattering on me because I definitely have hips. <laughs> These are flattering because of the wide collar that makes your waist look really good. So loving those faux fur. And 
speaking of, oh, wait, hold on. Speaking of that, um, oh, yeah, thank you. This, Ashley, remember to show me this. This is so cute. Um, so many things, so little time. So we found this amazing, amazing young woman who started her own company. And um, it just makes me think, I wish that I had had the vision to do things that I thought of, that I thought would be great ideas when I was younger and I never did. Uh, but this young woman did. She's an amazing young woman. And what she did is she buys actual couture bags and she cuts out the pieces and she repurposes them in these beautiful, beautiful accessories. She has all the paperwork, everything's good, just to let you know. This is an actual piece of the couture bag and I love that. I love this little pouch. This is kind of a cognac chestnut. Here it is in the black. Here it is in the blush. Here it is in the ivory. Isn't this gorgeous? I love, it's vegan leather. I love the tassel. It has a little pocket in back. And this is going to be the perfect, perfect little piece. This is gonna go in another bag. This is gonna be what you carry you know, your keys and your money in. This is gonna be the perfect gift idea for the holidays. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be the hottest gifts for the holidays, I have to say, but make sure and keep one for yourself. Don't give them all away, because um, I love them. And I was trying to think if we were deciding which, which colors I should get for each niece uh, on these, because I love them so much. So four colors, love that. That is the coolest thing ever. And then this fabulous bag, one of the biggest trends right now, are these bags that really look like neoprene. So this is gonna be one with the camouflage. I love the stripe up the front. I love the fact that it has a panel that you put in the bottom so it's very structured, or you can take that panel out and just carry it as a soft bag. This is what it looks like if you snap the sides and it's more of an everyday bag. By the way, if you unsnap the sides, then it is a full size, bring it on overnight tote, right? Now you're gonna put the kids stuff in here and go to grandma's house. You're gonna have your gym clothes in here for after work, whatever you wanna do. How great is that? And you see this fabulous little pouch, this comes with it. You're getting the large and the small, both for one amazing value. And that is also coming up this week. Awesome, I think we've covered that. David, are you ready? All right. All right. And then we're gonna, we're gonna have to be quick because then we gotta Very finish quick. with Christmas. Okay, and then I, oh, yeah. and okay. By the way, want to let you know that the lip liner, Happily Ever After, the lip liner is coming back this week. We have been pushing them. It is going to be special. We are going to be offering you something on that we haven't before. Make sure and stay tuned. I love it. I use it every day. I cannot be without it. And I'm sure you feel the same way. It's amazing with the P2C. It's fabulous on its own. That lip liner is coming back this week. Please keep an eye on your email so that you know exactly when it's coming back. All right, now, the leather cord is something that a lot of you love to use with all your different um, enhancers and a lot of larger bale pendants. It's something that we offer with our my, all the versions of My Favorite Cross, yeah. but you've been asking for it in different lengths. So once again, we have brought you that really high-end, beautiful, real leather cord yeah. with a lobster claw clasp in your choice of what lengths? In choice of 18 to um, 24. Um, 28 and 32. Okay, so it's real leather and this is soft leather. It's the really high end. It's very hard to find this. This is not cut. This is gonna be stuffed and sewn and really, really well done. This is what you find as your leather cord with the most expensive pieces. And I wanna remind you of this amazing, amazing cameo because we only have a few of those, but it's beautiful on the leather cord. 18, 24, 32, and 36. There you go. Okay, I was I like, know. I thought there was one Some, longer. All right, 18, 24, 32, 36. All right, loving those. Now, speaking of Italy, of course, when we think of great earrings, we think of Italy. These are beautiful. This is beautiful twisted earring. It's a hoop that's twisted. And and it's going to be in your choice of rose, white, or yellow. Beautiful texture, gorgeous on the ear. And you can see, here's what it looks like from the side. Here's what it looks like from the front. So it's going to look different at every angle that they see on you. And the texture on that and is that's our friends at Blue Oro. amazing. They really do it like no one else. Years ago, there was a diamond designer that was on the air at my old job. And I remember when she came, I thought, what is she going to wear as a wedding band? Because she's a diamond designer. She can yeah. wear anything. It's and she wore this kind of very delicate, perfect little diamond band. That's exactly this look. This is a couture inspired inspired band that looks for the world like 18 karat gold and diamonds done by our friends who do every single step by hand and it is absolutely perfect. I absolutely love this because it's affordable and it looks like diamonds. There's no way no one's going to look at you and they're, gonna, they're oh. just going to think it's you're wearing diamonds. Wow, where'd Gorgeous. you get that? 
gorgeous, gorgeous. That's coming up in yellow with the white. And then that beautiful cube link necklace that we've offered and oh my gosh, has it been crazy popular? This is gonna be a triple cube and chain alternating all the way around. How beautiful to layer with the cube you already have, any of your others. It's gorgeous on its own. It's gorgeous with everything, rose, white, and yellow. I love that necklace, and that is also coming up this week. So that was the fastest little earring uh, jewelry thing ever. Sorry about that. But I wanna make sure we get to this, ne uh, this next tree. This tree is one of my favorite things in the world. I have to say, I can't even stand it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, this ribbon is actually one that's coming up next week, but it was perfect, so we put it with this tree, just to let you know. We have these Real Touch Amaryllis bundles. They really do look and feel real. You're gonna get two of those. We have these beautiful peppermint lollipops. Um, those are gonna come in a set of four. They got a little red ribbon and a stick on them. You just stick them in the tree. How gorgeous are those? Look at this beautiful red and white stripe on that garland. I love that. Those are individual. Here we have these beautiful real crystals that we were showing you on the mantle. Wow, those are gorgeous. And uh, also coming up, um, right back here, can you see this is a little tree that's going to be resin and it's beautifully done in the macaroons like you're looking at right there, or the pink rose frosting, whichever you, pr um, both of those are coming up in that one. Um, right over here, we have this sweet desserts little, isn't that the sweetest? And it's going to be like a three-tier etagere with little desserts and sweets on it. Isn't that the most amazing ornament? We have this beautiful glass strawberry sundae ornament. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Um, we also have the beautiful um, peppermint candy. There's gonna be some round and some more oblong. Those come in a set. Um, this beautiful European glass in a European kind of folklore style. I love those, those come in a set of six. These beautiful, elegant blue ornaments, a set of three, a round, a finial, and an onion. These gingerbread branch snowflakes. You're gonna get, I think, four of these in a set, and each one has three snowflakes on it. These beautiful, beautiful blue kind of balls with snow on the branch, I love those. Those are coming up in this boutique as well. We also have this beautiful piece of pie. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detail in that. We have this beautiful ornament and that's gonna be in the round and the finial. Um, those are also in this, on this tree. Gosh, from, there's so many beautiful things on this tree. I just look at it and think, wow. So when you look at this tree, this tree, I have to tell you, is just one of my favorite, favorite things ever. I love the colors. I love the whimsy. I love it with the really elegant um, ornaments. I love it all together. I love that light blue with the traditional peppermint. Isn't that gorgeous when you put it all together and then it just keeps going and going into this beautiful, beautiful top of the tree. I mean, wow, isn't that amazing? See, this is what you can do when you have the right pieces. Of course, oh, by the way, it all starts with the Starburst tree topper that we're gonna show you um, as well. Um, again, we have a pre-order on that. We're gonna have more of those for you. Then we have the Gingerbread Village. This is one that is flat, but it looks like um, the village facing forward. That is lit, so I love that. We also have the Gingerbread House. Isn't that pretty? Let me just show you on the side. Mm -hmm. I love that. So it has a lot of wow, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. We have that Gingerbread Village up here. Here's the little macaroon tree. There's the little uh, rose frosting tree. Those are the ornaments. We just set them up there. Here's this beautiful dimensional gingerbread house with white frosting that comes lit. Then we have this unbelievable blue and silver sleigh. Again, these sleighs, oh my gosh. Let me go right around here, sorry. Uh, look how beautiful, those never last. This is uh, a beautiful illuminated canvas towards the night before Christmas, that's coming up. And then this unbelievable, gorgeous, big, absolutely stunning, luxurious Santa. He's coming up this week as well. If you've noticed these feather boas, they're coming up this week and those are very, very important. 
put them everywhere. Use them on windowsills, use them around the base of a tree, use them in a tree, use them on a garland, use them on a mantle, use them everywhere. There is no wrong way. Put them in the chandeliers. There is no wrong place to use a feather boa. These are the luxury boas. When they come, they're gonna be in plastic and they're gonna be a little flat. The more you use them, the better they get. So use them, use them, use them. We have to do a special order on these. These are not something we can just call and get more of. So what we have is all we have and they're coming up this week and oh my gosh, are they important. Oh, guess what else? Do you like this fireplace screen? This is a Twas the Night Before Christmas and a fireplace screen. How amazing is that? So, so many gorgeous ideas, so little time. Did I forget anything really important? Gosh. So many great ideas, so little time. Two huge Christmas boutiques, the pumpkin patch in one minute, that starts at 8 p.m. All that amazing jewelry, all the great fashion, the fabulous bag, the wristlets with the couture, um, so many, absolutely, absolutely made the lip liner, the feather boas, so many things. I, I can't even wrap my head around it. So thank you all so much for joining us on our Monday night chat. I know it got a little crazy because I took too long beginning as I always do. Uh, but we have great uh, shopping for you all week. Don't forget to sign up for the email. Don't forget to sign up for the text messages. We only send out a few text messages a week, but they're always important. And you get an email every time there's new shopping and it allows you to see what's coming up the next day. So thank you all so much. Have a great evening. Bye.